in English all the time, or if I speak in Japanese all the time. Japanese, Japanese. <laughs> oh, great. I can see some people are laughing here. Why do you laugh, sir? Very good. Very good. He can't understand Japanese. He doesn't want me to speak in Japanese. OK, would you like me to speak in Japanese? You wouldn't feel comfortable if I speak in Japanese. Would you, Nadele, do you like me to speak in Japanese? Uh, if you prefer to stay in the expressions, it would be nice. Otherwise, English. Very. Thank you so much. Now we have something in common here that we do not understand Japanese. Some of us, however, understand good English. Others only understand well if I speak in Arabic. What is the essence? What is the topic of my speech now? What is the topic of my speech now? What am I talking about now? Yes? Communication. Very good. Thank you so much. So, the essence of leadership is communication. Now we have two topics here merged together. What made me say so, communication? Someone here doesn't understand, totally doesn't understand Japanese, and the young lady here said, well, I might understand. <coughs> if you can just translate what you are talking about in body language. See, like using my hands, my facial expression, my gestures, my tone, going up, going down, sometimes smiling, sometimes frowning. That's when she can understand my Japanese. But this is not the essence of communication. Communication, again, is delivering the message. I have a message. I would like to give you that message so that you react according to that message through a medium, a medium which is the language. We have two types of languages here. We have two types of languages. Can you tell me? Yes. Verbal and non-verbal. Right. Verbal, which is oral or written spoken to be listened to or written to be read and the body language. So you can imagine if I just write Japanese to you and give you the message, message and please read my Japanese and act now according to this message. You wouldn't understand it. No, except, not except if I know Japanese. Yeah, if, I, if only you can understand Japanese. So this is Number one, it's about communication. Communication should be clear enough using the right medium to deliver your message. The right medium to deliver your message. If our colleague here, what's your name, sir? Kareem. Kareem, okay. If our colleague here, Kareem, couldn't express his question five minutes ago, would Mr. Zamzam respond to his question? A simple answer. Coming to leadership, one of the most important traits of a leader is to be able to communicate his message to his followers. If you cannot communicate your message to your audience, to 100%, I am damn sure you would not be able to follow me. And at least to a certain period of time, and then they will fad. Good work, sir. They will fad. They will disappear. They will not be able to continue. Yeah, they will lose the momentum because they cannot communicate anymore. And that I would uh, tell you something back into history. When Mr. Muhammad Absatar, my colleague, asked me to come here to this place to be a guest speaker, and I was a little bit 
blah, 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 blah. And then after a sudden, after a sudden, after a sudden, I stopped talking. It became silent. I couldn't utter a single word. One single word. And people around me started pushing me. Tell me what happened. Speak up. Continue. Finish your speech. Come on. People are laughing. This had happened to me at the time, back into 1989. Of course, I remember that now. What did happen to me at the time? I was not confronting my audience. To the contrary, I was in the back end, where nobody else could see me except my friends. What happened? I freaked out. You know what I mean, you freaked out? I panicked. When did I panic? When for just one single second, I imagined, it flashed into my mind that everyone is listening to me. Oh my goodness, they are listening to me. And then I passed. Thank you so much.